Hey yo, what's up and welcome, I'm the one and only West Coast King and welcome back to Save the Crew where we're getting back into this today after a, a very, very dramatic come from behind victory over Atlanta United in the US Open Cup to finish off last episode. So unfortunately, I mean, fortunately we beat them, but unfortunately it wasn't in the league so we didn't make up any points on them, but... We did, I think, gain that all-important psychological advantage over them. But we are still six points back, but we've played three less games. I'm not really too worried about that. Not this early in the season. So everything I would say is looking pretty good. Something that is interesting, though, is we're about to play the last game in the month of April. So we're going into the month of May today. And here's what the schedule is looking like. I don't think I've ever seen a schedule like this before. So we play Montreal right here on, in, in the last game of April. Then we have two games against Colorado and Sporting. Then we play Montreal again. So that's two out of four games against Montreal. Then we play New England. New England again. Then New York. Then New York again. And then we finish off against the only other undefeated team in the league with Dallas. And we're in Dallas. We're in Frisco for that one. So it's just a very bizarre schedule to play two back-to-backs back-to-back. It's just such a, a, a funky schedule. So the good news is... We are coming off that victory against Atlanta, but that was with a mostly reserved team. So the starters are all set to go here at home against Montreal. I am going to sim this one because we play them again in three games and we'll be on the road for that one. I'll play that one instead. So we have the starters fully fit and ready to go in there. And we get a, a very, very normal a score I would expect. We beat them 3-0 at home. So now we are set to play our first game of the episode and we're going to be at home once again and this time we're going to be taking on Colorado. They're actually having a pretty decent season. I think they're in fifth place in the Western Conference. So they're for right now they're at least a playoff team. But uh, if there's one thing that we can count on usually it's that I beat Colorado. I Almost every time and usually by quite a bit. So we'll have to see if that holds true here today. We are going to be rotating the team a little bit. We're starting to get, it, starting to get into the two games per week. So... We're going to have to rotate the team a little bit more now. We have Sosa, Benitez, Crognale, and Cannon joining into the starting 11 for this one. But again, it's Colorado. I always beat Colorado. All right, here we go. Kickoff against Colorado. I would uh, show you their starting 11, but again, it, it doesn't matter. We're, we're going to beat them. I'm, I'm so confident that I'm going to beat them. It's actually hilarious. But the one little bit of... No. No, Mason. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Well, um, that, <laughs> that is karma at its finest. So, uh, let's, uh, let's focus now. I don't think we're going to be walking through this team like I was kind of hoping we would, but that's fine. If they want to give us a little bit of a fight, we're up for it. Let's go. Let's do this thing, boys. Let's get a ball in. No, that, that's fine. You know what? Screw it. If they want to go direct route one stuff, we'll do the same thing. Facuna Ferreira on it. Cuts it in. Lays it back for Sosa. Who takes it around one. Sosa absolutely hits a P-roller wide of... What in the hell was that finish? Yes, nicely done. That's good passing. Sosa for Facuna Ferreira. Tries to put some moves on. Lays it for Zardes. Who's going to get a penalty? He actually did get to that ball first, and he got drugged down by Castillo. That was great effort from Jossi Zardes. Normally plays like that, we don't really deserve the penalty for, but that one we absolutely did. All right, so Facundo Ferreira is going to step up for the penalty. I know I, I didn't do so well with him last time I took a pen, but that's okay. We're going to stare Tim Howard down, and then cook it to the left. What a penalty! Nobody on the planet saving that one. He buries that right inside the post. And we've got the equalizer before the 30-minute mark. We're, we're back on track. There we go. Facundo Ferreira. Hold the move. Oh, to get by two. Ferreira. No, it's Tim Howard again. Oh, my goodness. Now we're looking like the team that was going to beat Colorado from the beginning. Okay, now I'm feeling confident again. There we go. Ball for Sosa. Sosa. Oh, nice move to cut it in. Sosa playing it through for Benitez. Can't quite get the shot away, though. Oh, it's going to come back in. Ref. They played that ball forward, and Tim Howard caught that. Is, is that a legal play? All right, let's try to get up this side here. And we actually have Zardes 
through. What a beautifully weighted ball. Zardes pulls it back for Ferreira. Tim Howard is not human. Are you serious? Good lord. But Benitez does well here. I tried to get that in, but I couldn't get the cross away. How is Tim Howard making these saves? Oh, wow. What a pass. Oh, Valenzuela got caught flat-footed there. The ball is across. That is just so... That is so unfair. Tim Howard has stood on his head to keep us out. And they get one attack off... Oh, granted, very, very nice passing. Valenzuela just got caught over there. But one shot and one goal. That is so, so unfair. Here we go. Nice one, two for Trap up the wing. And I see... Barrera making a great run up the wing. Barrera cuts it inside. Barrera. What the hell was that shot? What, what shot did I just do? Arter bringing it forward and playing it for Pedro Santos, who plays it in early for Barrera. Doesn't, it almost got there. But now it's a cross for Zarda. Are you serious? This is karma, isn't it? This is karma for me saying that there's no possible way that we lose. We shouldn't be losing this game. We've dominated the entire freaking thing. We just cannot score a goal. Where's our Where's our players? Get up here. We're running out of time. Oh my god, these stupid throw-ins. Oh, thank god we kept possession there. Let's just let's just flick it back here for Zardes, who takes it on the volley. <laughs> and hits it wide. It's just not meant to be today. Well, there is the final whistle. I knew I laid it on too thick. I, I knew. I knew I talked way too much shit before this game. Unbelievable. Unbe it's not even like we played bad. We dominated the whole thing. It's just Tim fucking Howard is unbeatable. So after that rather disappointing loss at home to Colorado, we're away to Children's Mercy Park for the next one to play Sporting Kansas City. I've reinstated pretty much the full strength starting 11 for this. Uh, with one change, Abu's going to start in place of Will Trapp, who just needs a little bit of a rest in there. So that's the only change to the starting 11. Other than that, it's our strongest possible lineup. And I don't think I want to make any declarations about this one. I think we're just going to go ahead and just, just, just go play. All right, here we go. Kick off. And it's a very sunny day at Children's Mercy Park. And uh, it's it's a good sporting team out there for them. The one thing I was surprised with is they don't have Tim Melia in the team at all. I don't know if they, they sold him or what. I don't think they did. I'm not sure where he is. So at least that's something. I mean, I'll take that. I could do with not seeing a really, really good goalkeeper for one game. So let's see if we can't get something here. And that should be a penalty straight off the bat. It's a pen. Okay. No, it is. It's a free kick. Are you kidding me? All right, well, screw it. Let's have let's have Barrera take the free kick and see if he can't go up and down. Let's get this thing started with a bang. Harlan Barrera. That was an awful free kick. But we do have this ball with Zardes. Ooh, good move there. Trying to get it back from Madranda, who apparently is stronger than Zardes. I didn't think that was a thing. Ooh, two sporting players just ran into each other. I see Santos arriving far side. Are you serious? What is going on? Why can I not score goals today? There's no possible way they should have been able to save that. That was so well executed. Come on, man. Ferreira? Nope, that's blocked by by Opara. And then they cleared away. Are you serious? In for Barrera, who holds it. Sort of not makes a defender with that pass. And here we go. Barrera for Facundo. Ferreira turns the corner. And Facundo Ferreira. Finally, we score a goal from open play. Oh, my God. God, that was so difficult. We had so many chances so far today and just could not put the ball in the back of the net. Except from the penalty. And finally, Ferreira gets loose. Beasler can't chase him down. And he gets the shot away. And there's no way anyone's saving that one. It's a beautiful finish. And we've got the lead. Very deservedly so. Boys, let's not give the, let's not give the lead away right after we, we get it. Oh, look at the passing from Sporting Kansas City! That shot is just a dick whisker wide of the post. Oh my goodness. Let's limit everything for them in the second half. Oh god, and that's not what I, That is not exactly what I meant. Good play by Crignale stepping in front there, though. Oh god, what was that pass? Oh! What is... What are you guys doing out there? Who cleared the ball into the middle of the pitch? 
No, 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 no. I can't see the ball. Balance Whaley gets taken off. Oh, Russell. Johnny Russell missed the ball back post. That was, a, that was a sitter. And he just couldn't get connection with it. Or he didn't see it. I'm not really actually sure what happened there. Oh, no. Sporting is just shoving it down our throats right now. Somebody step up and take the ball away. Oh, my God. What in the... What is happening? This is a joke. This is actually just a joke. I There's nothing I can do. My team doesn't even know where the ball is most of the time. Opara just cut around me. Great play. Wow, the shot was right. I'm not moving. I'm not throwing this ball out. This has been the dumbest game I've played in this career so far. Give me a yellow card, ref. I beg. Go ahead. Give me a yellow card. I really... I Honestly, I don't care. And now Zach Steffen takes a kick by himself. I didn't even tell him to do that shit. It's out to Archer. We're just flicking it up. I'm done. I'm done trying. This has been a freaking joke. Please, blow the final whistle, ref. He probably won't. Because ref freaking hates me in this game. Oh. My. God. I don't even know how we won, to be honest. I, I honestly have no idea. With the way that that final 20 minutes went. I, I have no clue how we held on to that one. Alright. Our next match is going to be against Montreal once again. I said I was going to play this one. But I figured, you know what? We beat them 3-0 last time. The boys can go out there and handle it once more. Especially considering Montreal is in 10th place. I I'm really not too worried about this. However, we are without Facundo Ferreira for this game. Because he's going to miss 5 days with a bruised shoulder. Because, you know, that's something worth missing a game for. Not broken or dislocated or separated or gone completely. It's a bruise. How is that an injury that would make you miss it? I don't understand. EA needs to get their shit together. But anyway... Pedro Santos gets us up 1-0. Vargas misses a penalty. And I think we're going to hang on. No, we don't. What in the hell is going on today? This game is trolling me today, right? It's not just... It's definitely... It's definitely messing with me. Facundo Ferreira has said that he feels like he's in pretty good form. And wants to start the next game. He, he's hoping I'm not going to bench him. Bitch, you should have played last match. That's your fault we didn't win. Alright, so we're back home now. To take on New England. The first of our back-to-back -back series with them. And uh, we need to win a game, man. I, I, I don't know what's going on. But we need to score A. We need to score more than one goal today. In this match. And B, we need to win. New England's in ninth place coming in. We need to make a statement here that we actually know what the hell we're doing. Because lately, I'm not sure that we actually do. Alright, here we go. Kick off against New England. And this is the first game, I think... I mean, this might be the first game today where we've had our full first choice starting 11 on the field together. So, maybe that's the boost that we need to get a nice convincing win against one of the bottom teams. Barrera. Oh, that's a good move from Barrera. Opens him up. Gets the ball out wide for Zardes, who does keep that on just about. And he, he keeps the ball as well. Zardes moving with it. Woo! That was a good move. Zardes pulls it. Looking in there. There's an open Facundo Ferreira and finishes off the move. Yo, Zardes pretty much just went beast mode. That is vintage Giazzi Zardes for this team. The playmaker and most of the time the goal scorer as well. But this time he plays facilitator, and he gets us the early 1-0 lead. That, that is what it's taking to score a goal today. All of that led to the goal. That's only the second goal I've scored. All right, goal number one. I mean, 22 minutes in. That is a promising, promising sign for us. Remember, I want to score more than one goal and win the game. That is, that is our objective. If we win it 2-0, I'll count it. I'll take it. That's all of our objectives completed. Uh oh, Facundo. No, 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 no. Fa Facundes. Jesus, I thought that was actually going to go in. Ooh, Will Trap. Nice move. And Barrera's first touch is beautiful. Looking for Zardes. What is that finish? You guys are killing me today with the little P rollers. All right, start of the second half. Full domination by Columbus in the first. Can we get the repeat of that and just put this thing away? Ooh, Zardes. That is really nice. And Facundo Ferreira, that'll do. That, that is second assist for Zardes. Second goal for Facundo Ferreira, who is looking 
like a, at least a, a front runner for Golden Boot this year in MLS. And I don't care if it's a little bit cheesy off the kickoff. We, we, we need it right now, man. We absolutely will take every single goal that we can get. Oh, Pania is up the wing. Santos is chasing. He holds him up. Oh, Lee wins in some space. Good block there. That was a bit of a nasty tackle. And they miss an open shot in the box. Wow, man. New England really not doing themselves any favors here. That was a golden chance. Ooh, Valenzuela. Good pick. He picks up that loose ball and just on the run. Flies by somebody. Santos. Oh, that's a great move from Santos. Santos pass it. He gets it over. And there is the hat trick for Facundo Ferreira. I accidentally fake shot. I meant to pass that. Just lay it across. And I took a fake shot instead. Almost messed it up. And Facundo Ferreira completes his hat trick. Assist for Pedro Santos. And we are now running away with this one. Oh, that is, that was an exquisite play. That first time ball, I don't know how he delivered it with such accuracy, but that is the center back up there. Uh, New England's gone full all out attack. I don't think they're going to get back into this game, but apparently they do. But that was a great goal, man. They, there's nothing I can do about that one. That was perfect. Ferreira, pull it back. Now inside, it's Martinez. Martinez is going to lay it for Zardes. And Zardes does finally score a goal i thought the pass led him a little bit too much but he does he, he does well with it i mean he's not gonna miss forever i do trust zardes in the end if i if i do need a goal he's probably the guy that i would go for even above facundo ferreira zardes is still my guy and he puts the exclamation point on this one and there is the final whistle 4-1 Everything went exactly how I wanted it to go. We scored more than one goal. I mean, Ferreira had a hat trick on his own. We scored four in total. We got the win. That's all I wanted. A convincing victory over one of the worst teams in the Eastern Conference. All right, so that is where we're going to end this one for today. We still sit five points back of Atlanta, although they have now lost twice, so, so that's promising. We took our first loss as well. Amazingly, Dallas still has not lost a game. Through 12 matches this season, unbeaten. That That's pretty impressive. Five draws isn't the greatest, but they haven't been beaten. So they're they're looking like a very, very strong contender in the Western Conference. But yeah, we, we really didn't do ourselves any favors today. We, we could have made up some ground on Atlanta, but I mean, we dropped points to Montreal. It was on the road, but we just beaten them 3-0. We should have won that one as well. And don't ask me how we can go on the road to Atlanta with a reserve team and beat them and then lose at home to Colorado. That, I, I have no explanation for that other than this is the Columbus crew and we do some bizarre shit sometimes. That one is right up there at the top. I don't know how that even happened, but yeah, I mean, we still sit five points back. Still two games in hand, so we could tighten that gap a little bit, but we got to get the job done, man. We got New York twice next episode. We start off with New England again. And then we have that important game at the end of the month against Dallas on the road against the unbeaten team. So we have our chances. We just have to do better to take them. So that's it for this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you when we come back for some more Save the Crew. See ya.